Today, we'll be reviewing the eSingapore online math program and deciding if this is a good math program for kids or not. Whether you're a homeschool parent looking for a new math curriculum or a parent with kids in school who need some extra math practice, this video is for you. So let's dive right into our review of eSingapore math. For those of you who have never heard of the eSingapore online math program, here's a little overview. eSingapore math is a fully online math program for students from kindergarten through fifth grade. This is a complete math curriculum that allows parents to be totally hands-off. So if you're a parent who struggles with teaching math, this program might be perfect for you. E-Singapore Math uses the popular Singapore Math approach and includes over 1,000 online lessons and over 30,000 problem sets. They also include placement tests, assisted practice, assessments, games, and of course, detailed reports for parents. This program offers a five-day free trial, but you'll need to provide your credit card information, so don't forget to cancel if you end up not liking it. If you do want to keep the program after your free trial, it will cost $99 a year for one child. You can see here they offer three choices, but the difference in price is almost silly, so you might as well just go with the Platinum package. If you want to add additional children, it's another $49 per year for each child. Once you sign up, you will be allowed to choose the program for your child. This is really just for if you're using textbooks and you want to align with the textbooks that your child is using. If you're using this as your primary math curriculum, you can just leave it as eSingapore Math. I'll show you the rest of the parent section later in the video, but first, let's take a look at this from the student's perspective. Your child will log in with their own username and password. You'll probably want to have your child start with a diagnostic test, which can be found here under Adaptive Learning. Your child will choose their current grade level and then go through a series of questions to measure their current level of understanding in several different areas. If you're not sure which grade level to pick, they do have some placement tests that your child can take first. I'll show you where to find those in a minute, but honestly, I don't think it's necessary because this assessment is going to figure out what your child already knows and where they need practice. So if you just pick the grade level closest to where you think your child is, you should be fine. Now let's see what the assessment will look like. Let's find out the level of your math skills. This diagnostic test will show what you know and what you are ready to learn. We will help you reach the top level. What is 2 plus 5? Pick the right answer. Well done. You're doing great. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct number. Sean buys eight toy cars. He gives five away. How many toy cars does Sean have left? Fill in the blanks with the correct number. Look at the picture. Which of the number sentences are true? Pick the right answers. No problem. It's a learning opportunity. Solve the problem. Fill in the blank with the correct number. Which bird is above the street light? Pick the right answer. What is the shape of the plate? Pick the right answer. Choose the picture that shows halves. Select the correct answer. Nice work. You completed the test. Once your child completes the initial assessment, they will see their overall progress in each of the different areas. Then it's time to start learning. They can just click the Learn button up here to get started. The lesson will start with a short video lesson. Let's take a look at this one. Let's look at these beads. How many beads are there? 10 and 3 make 13. 
There are 13 beads. This is a place value chart. We can use a place value chart to show numbers. How many groups of 10 are there? There is one group of 10, so we write 1 here. How many 1s are there? There are 3 1s, so we write 3 here. The place value chart shows the number 13. 13 is equal to 110, 3 1s. See how quick that was? Next, there will be some assisted Look practice. The picture. There will be an example over here to help numbers. if they get stuck on a problem. Let's take a moment to complete the problems. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. Well done. Now, let's move on to more advanced practice. Once the assisted practice is complete, they will move on to practice without the extra help. Let's try that out. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct number. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. Well done. Now, let's move on to more advanced practice. Sometimes there will also be a short game at the end of a lesson to reinforce the concept. Let's try one to see what it's like. You completed many lessons in this session. Do you want to take a break? Once a lesson is complete, your child can simply move on to the next lesson. And this is really all you need to know to use the eSingapore math program. The rest is just extra in my opinion. Your child will have everything they need to complete this program if they just continue on the adaptive learning path. If they leave that area and want to go back, they can always click up here and then just click Learn to continue. Now let me show you what else is over here on the left of the screen. Over here, your child can see their achievements. You can change the grade level up top to view the achievements by grade level. Even though you choose an initial grade level, based on the lessons your child completes, they might have achievements in other grade levels. The available achievements are time practiced this week, practice completed, questions answered, and skills mastered. You can click here to see the skills list. 
Any skills with a green check mark are the ones your child has mastered. If you go to program and select a grade level, you can see all the different topics and lessons for that grade level. If a lesson or activity has been completed, it will show a green check mark and the score if applicable. Your child can click any of these and start learning. Although I don't see why they would need to do this unless you're maybe just using this program as a supplement and want your child to focus on a certain topic. If you scroll all the way down, you can see they have placement test, grade test, and intervention test options. You need to change the grade level up top to see the different tests available for each grade level as not all grade levels include the same test options. If you click over here on games, it will show you the games for each grade level. Since these will be incorporated into the adaptive learning plan anyway, I don't really see the need for this to be its own section, but there it is anyway. The more button brings you to reports, another way to get to the tests, and math by topic. Math by topic is an interesting way to view things because it will show all the lessons for each grade in that particular topic. So if we choose geometry, for instance, we can see all the geometry topics that will be covered in each grade level. The report section is the same as it will look in the parent section, so let's log in as the parent and take a look at what's different. Under adaptive learning progress, you will see your child's progress by math topic. I like that this is by topic instead of by grade level. Based on your child's results in the diagnostic test, they may be working at a different grade level for addition and subtraction than they are for geometry or fractions. If you click test results, you will be able to see your child's answers on each question. If you click re-diagnose, you can erase your child's current progress for that math topic and have them take the assessment again. You can view your child's achievements here, which will look the same as it does in the student section. Same thing for the program section, although the lessons will be blocked when you're logged in as the parent. The game section on the bottom is the same. You can see the list of games, but if you click on them, it will be blocked. The report section is really what you will want to see when you're logged in as the parent. Up top, you can change the view between completeness or average score. You can change the math program here, although I really don't see what the point of this is. I've tried changing them and I don't see any difference in the lessons. If I'm missing something, I'd love it if you could leave a comment and let me know. You can also change the view here by grade and type of activity. You can, of course, print the report here. That takes care of our review of the East Singapore online math curriculum. So now here's the part of the video where I tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. First, what I like about East Singapore math. I love that the video lessons are short. At least for my daughter, her attention span for math is not the best. And there's no way she would still be paying attention to a video lesson longer than a couple of minutes at a time. So I really love that aspect. And because the video lessons are short, there are also not too many practice problems to complete before moving on to the next lesson. I think that's great for younger kids with shorter attention spans. I also like the simplicity of this program. If your child just takes the initial assessment and follows along with the lessons that are presented, there's really nothing else they need to do. As you have seen, even though you do choose the initial grade level, they may be completing math skills in different grade levels depending on the topic. But unlike a lot of programs, you don't really have to worry about selecting the right grade level. Based on that initial assessment, East Singapore Math knows what to do. I also like the little games they add in. That makes the program fun without being overly dependent on games like some of the other online math programs. And now, what I don't like as much about the East Singapore Math program. First, I don't like how they have you pick the program. When you sign up, you're on a website called e Singapore Math. So I really have no idea why there are all these other options once you sign up. It's supposed to align with the textbooks if you're using this in addition to textbooks, but I saw no difference when I picked a different program. So I just really don't understand that. I also don't know if I like that the videos have no real people in them. I guess since this program is geared toward younger kids, the cartoon people are okay, but it just seems a little impersonal, especially since some of the other online math programs do have actual humans in the videos. Then again, some have a human voice, but just show text on the screen. And I don't know if I like that either. Finally, I just don't like how they seem to have taken a very simple and good math curriculum and then tried to complicate things. 
For instance, I don't see why they have these placement tests and games in separate sections and the lessons available to do at any time in any grade level. If you take the initial assessment and follow along the recommended lessons, that's really all you need to do to complete the program. The extra stuff is honestly just making it more complicated than it needs to be. Overall though, I do think this is a great program. The lessons are short and easy to follow and understand. If I can just get my nine-year-old on board with trying this, I would definitely be willing to give it a shot. Getting her interested in math has not been easy. Click the video on your screen now to learn about another great educational program for kids. Thank you so much for watching.